Camels have been labelled the ships of a desert. This is because they are highly adapted to arid environments. For this reason, camels were introduced into Australia in the 1840s to be used in the exploration of dry inland Australia. Camels were also used to carve woods between remote settlements. By the 1920s, over 20,000 camels existed in Australia. Unfortunately, the rise in motorised vehicles at this time meant that camels were no longer useful, so they were simply released, thus establishing Australia's wild camel population. This has had many negative impacts on the environment. Firstly, due to their extremely broad diet, camels have caused extensive depletion of vegetation in arid areas. This has caused the local extinction of species such as the curly pod wattle, plum bush and native apricot, which are culturally significant to Indigenous Australians. Secondly, camels can drink at a rate of 200 litres per three minutes when they are thirsty. They have the potential to drain dry small water holes, leaving no water for other animals. Thirdly, camels are known to become stuck when competing for water. As a result, they die and contaminate the water source. Eutrophication occurs, depleting the available oxygen in the water. The water source is no longer capable of supporting aquatic or terrestrial life. There are now approximately 750,000 wild camels in Australia, compared to over 1 million in 2007. One reason for the decline in camels is the efforts of the Australian Feral Camel Management Project established by the government in 2010. It aims to control dense camel populations by various means to mitigate their impact on the environment. Camels can be removed through non-commercial practices such as hunting or aerial culling. In these cases, it is important that carcasses are properly disposed of as otherwise there is potential for proliferation of scavenger species. Camels can also be removed for commercial benefits. For example, they may be slaughtered at an abattoir for human consumption or for use in pet foods. Also, the construction of fences around water resources can prevent destruction by camels. In conclusion, it is estimated 75,000 camels are removed from the environment annually. The Australian Feral Camel Management Project involves significant monitoring of camel populations. It is important that this continues to assist the long-term sustainable control of camel populations.